With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Seahawks team as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And the offense, my goodness, over 50 points in the win last weekend. When you do that, you're not going to lose very many games, maybe not any games. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. Well, he did go two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went two, two, and one, with the one being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He, he threw one when we were watching, threw an interception, and the defense got on him a little <laughs> bit, good naturedly, but they're letting him know you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks, but as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Play action. Here's Stroud. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Flushed out right. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive is its fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Pulled in at the 24. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes this offense go. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. First and 10, here's Bennett. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. There he goes, left side. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. Well, so often now we're praising tight ends for their nimbleness and how they catch the ball downfield. But occasionally we get a reminder that tight ends, they've got that tough guy aspect too. How about him catching that short one there, shaking off tacklers and turning that into an expansive gain downfield. On first and 10 is Spiller. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Here now, second and four. Right back to Spiller on second down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Last week, of course, the great performance, over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back. This runs for over 200 yards. This says the very next week, hey, let's back things up. Yeah, I don't need it as much. No, they want it more and more. They're going to be ready to go because they think that's going to happen naturally now. Spiller is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. So that a 
great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt, turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Isaiah Spiller capping things off with a touchdown run. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They are back over the 500 mark for the year. A three-game winning streak really coming at the exact right time, Charles, to get them back into playoff contention. And it's always a question of when do you want your football team to peak? And everyone always talks about you want to be playing your best ball going into the playoffs, but sometimes you need your best ball before that time. And this team, going into this stretch of games, they are certainly playing their best football of the year. Now Stroud. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. So the completion good for six yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Now this defense for the Lions, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And every defensive team that we talked to, they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've got a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times in the win. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. From just across the midfield stripe, we're second and five. Pierce now up the middle, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. First down, they go right back to Pierce. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. First down, Seattle on a pickup of 13. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. At the 28-yard line. Back to throw, here's Stroud. Open there, and that's Renfro. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Stroud looking to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, it's Stroud. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Conklin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point up and good from Santoso. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. 
So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Spiller. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 53 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. They run behind center with Spiller. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. The Lions at three and six now on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now we're getting a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Bennett. Throw left side complete. That's Ingram. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And this one is no good. He missed it. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game be the best kicker the game's ever seen and we've seen him hit from 66 which is the all-time record for anything 60 plus that's a very low percentage kick don't tell him he doesn't believe it but this one winds up no good here's a throw dropped off to his fullback and that play goes nowhere taken down losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield not what they had in mind there that's going to go as a loss of four On second down, here's Pierce. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. You talk about this Lions defense. They're in the spot statistically that you don't want to be in against the pass. Number 32 in the league, dead last. Take those rankings, throw them right out the window. <laughs> because this is what you prepare for. This one. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Here's Braden Mann now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Well, this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. And he's sure looking like a lock for a thousand yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So yeah, it's not a lock, but barring injury, it certainly looks like he's going to get there. And what an accomplishment that is. Anytime you get over 1,000 yards, you're celebrated in the NFL. It's been quite a season. Still a couple chapters left in that book, though. Bennett to the air on first and 10. This is incomplete. No covers bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. On 
on second down. Spiller looking for space. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 70 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. That one caught out wide by Boykin. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, it turned into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. From the gun, a run by Spiller. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Third and one. Here's Bennett. There's a nice move. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and 10. Looking to throw here, Bennett. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Running right, this is Spiller. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a seat injured on the play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Third down, Hooker looks to throw it. He's got his target, and it's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They run with Holyfield. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And they'll go on the ground. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead. Tucker now to add the point after. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right, really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. 92 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a 1,000-yard campaign. Bennett now off play action. His throw caught right around the six. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. And they'll go with the ground and 
sack here. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. You talk about this Lions defense. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. That was all oh, his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak. It's definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. So here are the Lions to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw, Bennett. Drops it underneath to Spiller. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. Bennett now, as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Washington. So the completion good for seven there. And third and one now. And Bennett will look to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Second and ten. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Decided to hand it off that time on a run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Bennett now to throw. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. It'll be a loss of 8 on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. The downside for the defense that they're dealing with a team that's in their red zone, but the upside, not much room to work with for the offense. Fewer windows in the zone for them to throw into. Tough for a quarterback to get throw off before the pressure ends up getting to him. Now Justin Tucker's out to try the field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Tucker's kick is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense.
offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and nine at the 27 yard line. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And even with that broken tackle, can't get very far. Stops short of the 30. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. The Seahawks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Caught out right by Renfro. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out, and he's closing in on that number that all running backs circled beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally, as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play caller. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. To throw is Bennett. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's third and nine. Off the play fake, it's Bennett. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. And in the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. The Seahawks take back over. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And they'll go right back to Pierce. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Stroud. That's underneath to Pierce. And he'll be brought down here at the 3-yard line. That's good for a gain of 6, second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the three-yard line. Pierce. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. 
countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Up and good for Santoso, and that will close the gap down to 14. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. Well, this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Out of the gun, a give to Spiller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Third and four. Bennett looking to throw. Setting up the screen. Here's Spiller. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little game. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No receivers open, so who's forced to put that one into Puget Sound? That's a great job defensively blanketing those receivers, and ultimately a smart idea by him just to get the ball out of there. Now here's Stroud. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Stroud on third down now. Gets the dump off to Pierce. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Well, this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Bennett fakes a handoff. Now to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. 
This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakout. Now Bennett on a bootleg. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Now Spiller. And forget that 100-yard rushing game, at least for the moment, as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Bennett. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing here on third. Bennett. And that will be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Stroud now on first and 10. That's complete to Dobbs. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Stroud working out of the gun. He's got the hookup with Downs. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Stroud to the air on first and 10. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Pick made by Terrell Bernard. And the Lions are going to get the football here at their own 23. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. The drive starts with a give to Spiller. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. Now a pass caught by Zay Jones. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. I like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great work in relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and let your defense rest on the sidelines. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. On the handoff, Spiller. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. 
Third and one. Here's Bennett. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Jones has it. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Bennett here out of the shotgun. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They'll go for it. Here's Bennett. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down by a good three yards as they convert on fourth and five. It's Bennett going to have another throw here. On the slam, he'll get it to Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Bennett now on second down. Washington's got it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You have to ask the question, where was the help? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up for the first and goal. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run here with Spiller. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Isaiah Spiller with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not Justin enough space. Hunter, normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless... They can get something on the board here before intermission. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Stroud now on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Pierce. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. This time, they stay on the ground, and they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts 
So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Throwing on first down, Bennett. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He was covered by Dante Jackson. Looking to throw here, Bennett. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's a handoff to Spiller, and this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Holding offense. Well, an unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you back.